All right. Um, so we need to start by creating our queue. Uh, this is a little bit different than creating a stack because as we were just talking about, queue is an interface, so we can't make a new queue. We have to make a new object from a class that implements the queue interface. Um, and a good example of that, probably the best example of that is the linked list class. So we're going to create a print queue of strings using a linked list. So the type of our variable will be Q because that's, that's communicate the intention of how we're going to use this data structure. And we'll call it jobs, these are our print jobs, but we'll assign it to a new linked list. And again, the, the, the type of the elements in the linked list is implied by the type of the elements in the variable type. So it knows it's a linked list of strings. And because the linked list class implements the queue interface, it's okay to assign a reference to a linked list to a variable of type queue. So. And this is a clearer way to write code because simply by making this variable jobs of type queue, we're clearly communicating the intention of how we expect it to be used. We expect to add elements to the tail of the queue and remove elements from the head. So let's add several print jobs. So we're gonna add that Joe is gonna print expense report number one. And then after Joe does that, Kathy is gonna print meeting memo. Have to spell it right. So they both print one after the other, but Joe printed first. And then the printer warms up and starts printing. So we're gonna actually print messages to the terminal every time something prints. So we're gonna say printing, and we're gonna say jobs.remove. Remove will remove the element at the head of the queue, which should be Joe's expense report, um, and print it. Joe's expense report is pretty long, lots of expenses. So while it's printing, Kathy is also going to print a purchase order. Purchase order number one. Joe's expense report is still printing. So Joe is gonna print expense report number two. Because there's lots of expenses. Joe's expense report is still printing. Joe is gonna now print his weekly report. So all this print work. Joe's expense report finally finishes printing. So let's pop, or let, not pop, let's remove something else from our queue. So now we're gonna say printing, and we'll remove what's next. Should be Kathy's meeting memo. While that is printing, let's add one more thing. Let's have Kathy add another purchase order. And then Joe and Kathy are done printing stuff for now. So they're just standing there by the printer and they are waiting for everything to print. So we're gonna say print the rest of the jobs in the queue. And here is a really common loop we write, honestly, both with stacks and queues. We say while the size of the queue is greater than zero, while it's greater than zero, keep doing something. In this case, we're gonna keep printing stuff and displaying in the terminal what it is we're printing. This type of a loop is like really common. Like go through everything in the queue in order and do something with each element as remove it. And we could write exactly the same type of loop for a stack saying go through everything in our stack from top down, um, pop each one and do something with it. 
So let's run this really quick and make sure it works. There we go. This looks like it's in the right order. Very cool. All right, I'll leave this up. 